Morning, Jeff Allen off the gridiron. Welcome back. Well, today I've taken the, the channel a step further. I'm approaching the 100, 100 subscriber mark, which is you know a small milestone, but certainly one for me. And with my engraving business, I said, you know what? I wonder how we can take the the new watermark, the new logo, the new brand of my channel, and create some kind of a patch, emblem, etc., for some of my gear much like the Fall Raven products and, and many other products that are on the market. So that's what I did. So I took my emblem and lasered it out on, on, on some leather and added that to my well, well-worn uh, toque. You can see that little emblem on there. Um, I took my old bushcraft knife and I had to cover the old emblem with the new emblem. So there it is. Created some uh, Patches, standalone patches that I could add to any number of items, such as this jacket. I love this jacket. And it has screened on there Tadasac, Quebec. I'm sure it's a great park or city. I don't know where it is. I'm not from Quebec. Nevertheless, love the jacket. And I'm going to take my crest and attempt to stitch it on over top of that, which will really make uh, the jacket kind of scream off the gridiron and fit my own logo. And lastly, I had uh, two other pieces. One of my favorite wool bushcraft shirts. And I took the logo and stitched it on the, uh, the pocket of the shirt. I think that really makes it look really, uh, really sharp, really official, off the gridiron merchandise, so to speak. And lastly is my hat. I took a the crest in a different color and stitched it on the front of my 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 bushcraft hat, so to speak. So there you go, the uh, initial start to some of the, the branding of my objects. I, I kind of perseverate on some things and, and really jump in uh, head first sometimes. So stick around. I'm gonna show you how I stitch on the crest onto the jacket, and fingers crossed it uh, it looks alright when I'm all done. Okay, with the sewing machine all set up, I'm just trying to scan and get this jacket oriented properly. We're going to start by emptying the pockets. And we're going to have to find out how to get this in there. Now the cool thing about these jackets is that many of the jackets that have some kind of a zippered uh, cresting sewn on, have a zippered access point so we can open that up and that can lay back in the sewing machine like so. I'm really concerned that I'm going to get this on square the first time. It's just so much, so much jacket to be managing. I want to make sure it's on there. I think I can actually take the sleeves off this jacket. Maybe I'll do that and that'll lighten it up. Never even had these sleeves off. Pick this jacket up at a thrift store. I don't think it's ever been worn. All right, that lightens it up a bit. Big time. really have only one chance at this it's just you hit go and hope for the best so I'm gonna to try to orient it the same location as the the old logo on there So much jacket in the way I have to do a side at a time. Ok, 
Okay, two sides then. Flashbacks to home economics class in high school. All right, foot down, release. It's just another piece of machinery. Just like anything in the garage or your shop. Just have some patience. There you go. Lift it up, lift the foot. Carefully pull it out. I want to re thread this again. And get all, everything under the bottom and cut the bottom thread. Okay. Where's that thread going here? And oh, just like I said. figured out a way to thread the needle for you. At least I don't know. Start. Foot. Brace. Carefully slide out. In fact, looks like we're gonna have to. We're gonna do this whole side again while we're here. We made the mistake of the uh, inner lining. I didn't have it pulled back out of the way, and I stitched right through. So that didn't work so good. Thread. Where are you? Gonna have to lots of thread cleaning up here at the end, but that's fine. Okay, start, drop your needle, go. Oops, foot down. There we go. stitches in here if I screwed it up. Okay, there it is. Let's just clean up all these extra threads on here. And just like my leather work, I'm going to touch that with a little, little heat. There's that compartment there, so here's the inside. Now I'm not going to burn these because of the fleece lining. Let's get some of these off here. Okay, now we can zip up the liner. I mean, 
you can't even see that zipper when it's all done. Goodbye Tadasac Quebec. Hello off the grid iron. Let's try it on. Well guys, thanks for watching. Obviously today we took uh, took the off the grid iron logo, engraved it, laser engraved it on some leather patchwork in a number of different colors and demonstrated how it can be sewn on and affixed to any uh, any of the garments. So we had our toques, we've got our leather wind wearer hat, the standalone leather patch, our bushcraft knife, and our, sh and our uh, overcoat, as well as our leather bushcraft shirt. So, thanks for watching. If that's helped you, then uh, get in the shop and get your own crest started. And uh, certainly you don't need an expensive leather uh, engraving machine. You can always just use a branding iron or create your own crest and be, be unique that way. Until next time, Jeff Allen off the grid iron. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you in the outdoors. Enjoy your outdoors. Bye for now. There you have it guys, a number of my pieces of gear that you see me wear in the outdoors, all branded with my logo. Kind of fun, just a fun project. I think it looks sharp.